You know what, I forgot to uh, do one thing, that is, sell stuff. So we'll sell that, 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 and that, and that, and that. Mm. Yeah, that should be everything. And we're so close to getting that tactical stealth armor! <gasps> <laughs> okay, so let's go meet Sergei Serkov at his Moscow office. Hmm. Uh. Oh, sorry. I was thinking. I I tend to do that a lot. You see. Uh, oh, ah. I forgot something! That is to change out of the armor! Now Sergei will react a bit differently. I'm glad you were able to make it. I have the information you requested. Glad to hear it, Mr. Sirkov. Sergei, please. With that outfit you're wearing, I almost didn't see you come in. <laughs> Are you planning to sneak out of here once you speak to me? I thought I'd wait until your back is turned, then hide against the wall. Mm -hmm. Understood. Mr. Thorne. Michael. As I said, I was able to track down the information you requested. After reading your dossier, however, I had a proposal for you. Ooh. So you found out what Halbeck is doing in Moscow? I did. But there's more to it than that. Michael, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Based on your record, I think you're someone that can be trusted. Yeah. I have had dealings with Halbeck. In fact, I was their initial contact for smuggling weapons into Moscow. Including these missiles you're looking for. Ah. Those missiles were used to bring down that airliner in the Middle East. People died. Yes. And I think we both know that's just the beginning. Yeah. Albeck and I did not see eye to eye on the terms of our arrangement. We had a falling out. <laughs> Unfortunately, they have found a new partner here in Moscow. A Konstantin Breko. Breko? I don't think I've heard of him. If he's an arms dealer, I'm surprised he didn't show up on the radar when I arrived. Ah. He merely has the illusions of becoming one. Huh. Which makes him more dangerous. Ah, yes. He's not the man to show restraint in business dealings. But few members of the Russian Mafia do. Can you give me details on Breko and his operation? He started out in prostitution and extortion, and now he's moved up to drug smuggling. Ah. What about weapon trafficking? The Halbeck angle sounds new. It is. If the angle is profitable, however, Breko is an eager student. Halbeck's arrangement with Breko is going to cause repercussions. I'm a reasonable man, but... Breko is dangerous. He will sell to anyone, provided they have the money. Those missiles, along with the other Halbeck munitions, could end up in places where greater tragedies can occur. So what's your proposal? If I help you with Breko, I do not want my past involvement with Halbeck exposed. Working with him is a mistake, and I understand that. Okay, fine. If the information you can provide helps stop Halbeck's plans, I'll do what I can to keep you out of it. Then I can ask for a little else. I thought you would be open to such a deal, Mike. Then all I need is Breko's location. He's in a mansion outside Moscow, decorated to his own particular tastes. Tastes. I'm more interested in his defenses. <laughs> that yeah. intelligence you may have to gain on your own or purchase from local contacts. Just download the location of my PDA and I'm set. Very well. I will have the information sent to you. And thank you again for saving my life, Michael. Ah, no problem. Whoa there, big guy. Didn't see you there. You been there the whole time? <laughs> My apologies. Champion Chick is here to see me, Mr. Thornton. If you are going after Breko, then I am in need of protection while you're away. Nothing better than a walking wall, I guess. That medal for real? Champion Chick won it in the Olympics. Boxing, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I won some too. In shooting and martial arts. You forgot stealth. Have fun, you two. Maybe he is also a master of stealth, that Champion Chick being unnoticeable all that time. Uh, next time, everybody, next time, we shall assault Breko's mansion. Yes, it's a mansion. Oh, yes. Mansion indeed. Oh! So you and Surkov met at the embassy. Mr. The Yellow. Attack. I could have timed it better had I known the VCI was planning to assault the place. Yeah. But you survived. Even if many of the Marines stationed at the Embassy did not. They weren't Marines. An unfortunate coincidence. 
Who knew those mercenaries would choose that moment to attack? Yeah. I was only after Surkov. Didn't mean for anyone else to get in the way. Now, don't be down on yourself. No one knew the embassy was going to be attacked, did they? Someone did. Mm -hmm. Well, I hear most of the Marines died doing their duty. Yeah, they weren't the Marines. The suffered some casualties, I imagine, but probably not much. Well, I did shoot a lot. But you, you handled yourself exceptionally well. You must have had help. You're truly a skilled agent, Mr. Thornton. But one man against several highly trained squads? No. One man in the right like place. Sometimes the best method is to send a man in alone. Good help is hard to find, and it usually slows me down anyway. Yeah. Mm. Something wrong? No. But remind me not to play poker with you. <laughs> well, if it hadn't been for that attack in Moscow, I doubt if anyone would have known you were in the city. You certainly kept a low profile. I'm not in broadcasting or marketing, so that shouldn't surprise you. <laughs> I don't know. Seems you still make an impression on the fairer sex. Not sis. No matter what the age difference is. What are you talking about? Z. In mercenary circles, she's something of an... Old reliable. Old reliable? Is that why she's on your payroll? Ah, so you backtracked that, did you? <laughs> Very good. But back to the reason you were at the embassy. Surkov. Yeah, I sort of expected more from ex-KGB when I met him, but maybe that's part of his charm. So you know about his past? Yep, him going legit, starting his corporation. Sorry, corporations. Ah. Trying to bring capitalism to Russia, the whole bit. Bah. I see. You didn't seem to have much trouble getting information out of Surkov. I imagine you two had a cordial talk while the bullets were flying. Not he exactly. cooperated. I think he appreciated the fact I acted like a professional. Yeah. I don't know if he fully trusted me then, but... But he did tell you who had the Hellbeck missiles. Oh, yes. And he gave you a name. Yes. Constantine Braco. Oh. Ah, uh, Braco. What is it about the younger generation? Indeed. At least Surkov was a businessman. They pretend to obey the law. Yeah, he pretends indeed. Constantine. Now, there's a story I'd like to hear. Up-and-coming Russian mobster meets rogue American agent. What could the two of you possibly talk about? How video killed the radio star. <laughs> ah, what an awesome way to win that conversation. And an awesome way to end this set. So, next time, everybody... We shall assault Braco's mansion. <laughs> also, Molotech. Until then, everybody. <laughs>